what else, what else could have been possible? Well, that's a question that I often get asked. So if I'm saying that all these iconic images did a lot of damage along the way of doing incremental reform, what else could one have done? I think that there was an other kind of range of visual images that were out there that could have done more long-term, at least, productive work. The poster that I'm showing you is produced by SNCC. The photo that it was originally based on was taken by Danny Lyon, a white staff photographer, who through the early 1960s, at least, was, was one of the more important SNCC photographers. It shows a group of SNCC activists in Washington, D.C. during the uh, the March on Washington in 1963. They're in the process of, of clapping and singing. The man with his hand extended is actually in the process of snapping his fingers, but most audiences tend to see it as a raised fist, which isn't at all what's going on there. But because it gets bled together with the, with the end of now, and because in our post-1968 moment we tend to see raised black arms as being often more menacing. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of even scholars in the literature that look at this photo and talk about him raising a fist, which is obviously not what's happening. But these kinds of images that SNCC circulated during the 1960s showed no white oppressor, showed African Americans alone as strong figures, as advocating for change, as sort of demanding that change take place now. These kind of photos did not circulate in mainstream American society during the period, and the argument could be made that these would have been seen as much more radical, they would have been much more destabilizing, they would have been threatening to a lot of whites during the period, all of which is true, but they might have led to more longer term change that actually undermined the, the rules and assumptions of white America in a way that simply wasn't possible with those more benign, now we see them as iconic images of civil rights. Those images could indeed lead to incremental reform, but those images were also in part responsible for what we now see as the failures of the reforms of the 1960s. They were not where we should be now because we were basing the change on images that could only make little chip away reforms. This, I argue, could have led to more substantive changes, at least down the road.